It was President Roosevelt who ordered the Tuskegee program. I entered the institute because I'd wanted to be a pilot ever since I was a kid. I kept saying to myself, if anyone can do it, I can. I can be a pilot too. That's it. Those were hard times for all of us. I came from New Jersey. Even the journey to the camp wasn't easy. We were up against the whole world back then. We trained together for two years, but in some ways, it was like we were separate. I thought we would never be involved in the real war. Colonel Rules asked me to participate into a program that was intended to get funds for the war. First flight over New York City. It was my first time over a P-38 Lightning. See you on flight again. The P-51 squadron will follow you during the first moment. This flight drill is to get funds from the people down there. Don't forget it. Jill, I do my best. Good to hear that. Let's see if the instruments work fine now. The contact point is right in front of you, and also visible in your radar. Coordinates should appear as a green spot. Once you reach the target, the next one will appear on your radar. Your course will be shown step by step. Roger. Controls check. Everything is fine up here. It flies like a bird. Good. You have a new feature on this plane to trace targets. You can easily move through them to select the thing you want to focus on. Target located. I'll proceed with the objective. Block a target so you can keep it in sight wherever your plane is heading to. Fly around for a while to get some practice with it. Trust me, you will find it very useful. You can use it for ground or air targets. Clear.
squadron does. It always has a good shot. Roger, I'm right behind him. Captain, it's time for a little fun, huh? Follow us down below. Let's see if you can really handle your plane. I'm on it. I follow you. Once you reach the coordinate, the radar will automatically jump to the next one. Okay, I'll try. What's my next task? The statue is right in front of you. You can't miss it, right? People are here for the show, and this is what you will give to them. Clear. Stay close so people can see you, or the task will not be completed. Okay, I'm on the objective. Once you recognize the target, it is over. Is it clear? Clear. The object is clear. Fly around in a circle and show off your shiny brand new plane. And we raise money for the purchase of defense weapons. Do your best. I'll do it, Colonel. We need to push the citizens of New York to endeavor to raise extra cash. This war will cost billions to defend. Every penny is something for our troops. The government launched a campaign to ask women to donate stockings. Stockings? You heard right, son. Silk, nylon, and rayon are hard to find these days. Sorry, sir. But for what? We use them to make powder sacks for the military, or parachutes, tents, ropes, and even tires. Okay, I understand. Target recognized. I will move to the next objective. Also, people feel safe seeing us around. No one feels that way after the war. I understand that. No better place than home. Look at that. It's the Madison. Let's find out what they are playing. From up here, sir? On board you have a new tool that decodes and traces radio transmissions. Do I have something like that? Sure you have, son. This new plane has some cool toys, huh? Kaiser? Bessie Smith was a singer. I agree, son. Well, it's up to you now, Captain. Go ahead with the next coordinates, or help the cause getting some extra cash. How can I do that? You can see some additional targets on your radar. The more extra missions you succeed in, the more money we get. You need to catch the radio message to know the mission. Sounds fair. It's up to me. Sure it is, but I think it is always worth a try. Copy that. I'll think about it. What the hell is that plane doing? Langdon reports an unauthorized flight to the New York area. Well, ask directives on procedures. Yes, sir. Captain, stop the show. Roger. We 
have an uninvited guest close to the city area. I'm searching for visual contact. Do we know the guest? No, not yet. I see it. It's heading downtown. How do I have to proceed? Get close to it, and be careful. Your plane is not armed. We also don't know our guest and the nature of his visit. He is a man from the south. Roger, I will proceed with the new orders. Or try to get as close as I can. Our guest is in a rush. I don't think he will be staying for dinner, sir. It's a P-80, but it has no recognizable mark. Be sure he is heading out of the living area. Roger. Target on site. Captain, you can see the target area on your radar. Stay inside it, or the radar instruments will lose the target trace after a few seconds. We tried to get his radio frequency, but no answer. I think he has the radio off. It is not a good sign. No, it is not. Colonel, the target is heading out of the area. The P-80 can reach a higher speed than your plane. It's a $110,000 prototype, so follow him for as long as you can. What do citizens think about it, sir? We'll say it's part of the show. I don't care about it. The good thing is this prototype is still unarmed. The guest is in our area. How do I have to proceed? Mission accomplished, Captain. But uh, Colonel! I repeat, mission accomplished. Back to the landing ship. Roger, sir. Contact point on my radar. Captain, you still have time to raise some money. If you want, you can check the extra radio signals available. Yes, sir. and didn't want to get mixed up in Europe's problems. But all that changed on December 7, 1941, after Pearl Harbor. Colonel Ruse introduced me into a special squadron called Iron Wings. I didn't know much about our purposes, but I really wanted to join that war badly. I went to meet an old friend of mine and asked her to be my wingmate. Amelia and me had been childhood friends, hard to believe in 1920. Her father was an Italian flying ace, in the First World War, who had escaped the fascist regime. He was a good man, but always seemed a little sad. He taught us how to fly. Amelia came from the WASP, Women's Armed Services Pilots. They were allowed to fly, but they weren't even trained to shoot, so she left. At the end of the war, 27 WASPs had died in battle, and the armed forces didn't even allow the Stars and Stripes to be placed on their coffins. They were considered as civilians and non-combatants. As I said, son, these were hard times. Time to dance. So, sister, are you sure you don't want to change your mind? What the hell? How did you get into my radio frequency? Next time, lock your home door. Oh, great. Right ahead. 
Tim's barn is on fire. Hay is burning fast. I need to put out the fire. Damn! Animals may be in danger. Well, considering I'm here, I could give you some tips. Oh my god. Jack, are you still there? Listen to me. Don't waste your water. I saw a couple of water silos close to the fire. Are you telling me to knock down the silos? Yes, ma'am. Amelia, listen to me carefully. It's important. If you perform a quick flip while the target is locked, you'll be faced right in front of it. Sounds like an important tip. It is worth a try. may be in danger. Well, considering I'm here, I could give you some tips. Oh my god. Jack, are you still there? Listen to me. Don't waste your water. I saw a couple of water silos close to the fire. Are you telling me to knock down the silos? Yes, ma'am. Amelia, listen to me carefully. It's important. If you perform a quick flip while the target is locked, you will be faced right in front of it. Sounds like an... Okay, I see it right ahead. Mr. William... Well, considering I'm here, I could give you some tips. Oh my god. Jack, are you still there? Listen to me. Don't waste your water. I saw a couple of water silos close to the fire. Are you telling me to knock down the silos? Touchdown! Yes, ma'am. Amelia, listen to me carefully. It's important. If you perform a quick flip while the target is locked, you will be faced right in front of it. Sounds like an important tip. It is worth a try. Son again. 
against me. I can barely keep my eyes open. Another neighbor's burning barn. I think there are no water silos this time. No. I need to drop a water bomb over these fires. Amelia, reduce your speed to the minimum. Copy that. I suggest you reach a height of a thousand as it's easier to target the objective. I get it. Amelia, if you move too much, you'll be unstable and your bomb will lose the objective. Bomb equipped. Jack, I know that. That's my job. Hey, it's just to remind you. Gun equipped. Bomb equipped. Bomb away. Bomb on target. Gun equipped. Bomb equipped. Bomb away. Bomb on. Target missed. Great. I have. A I think there are no water silos this time. No. I need to drop a water bomb over these fires. Amelia, reduce your speed to the minimum. Copy that. Bomb equipped. I suggest you reach a height of a thousand as it's easier to target the objective. I get it. Amelia, if you move too much, you will be unstable and your bomb will lose the objective. Bomb away. Jack, I know that. That's my job. Hey, it's just to remind you. Gun equipped. Bomb equipped. Amelia, I've had a few calls from other barns in trouble. Nothing to worry about, but if you want to make more money, well... Extra money? Hmm, let me think about it. I got you, damn evil on the wings! The time has come. Let your mama give you some seed.
Are you going to kill Crow? Really? No, just scare them a bit. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were so sensible. I'm not. Of course. I just want to give you a tip I learned in Tuskegee training. I'm all ears, Captain. It's hard to face flying targets frontally. Follow its route and tail chase. Tail chase? The perfect position to engage the enemy is right behind the tail. It doesn't take a lot of calculating how much you want to leave your target. You just move on your correct route and fire. Do you get it? Almost. Engage flying target from behind, right? Right. Jack. Leather jacket, sunglasses, cool motorbike. Too funny. I should take a picture of him before he leaves the farm. Okay, I better turn off the camera. Camera equipped. to disrupt the electricity supply and paralyze the aircraft industry and Los Alamos experiments. So people often ask, why did the Germans do it? But you must realize that for Germany, it was like being reborn. The Fuhrer had done great things that nobody would have believed possible. Germany was flourishing after years of unemployment. People had jobs again. Everyone was earning a good living and the industry was flourishing. So every new technology would have boosted their military power. 